we are busy with public versus private goods and first of all we want to see what is the differences between private and public goods and we can only do this if we take a look at the equilibrium how are you going to determine the equilibrium first off get the price at which these people are going to buy or then demand the quantities first person Joanne's demand Q1 the second person will demand maybe more Kongani and this is Q2 this means that at that specific price, let's say it's a bag of potatoes at 50 Rand and at that specific price they will demand um, first of all one bag of potatoes and then second of all Bongani will demand maybe two bags of potatoes if that potatoes cost a specific price of 50 Rand and to get the equilibrium you go and take a look at the following you sum Joanne and Bongani's demand curves and to draw in the supply is there and this is to get the equilibrium then equilibrium quantity this means that it is actually a horizontal summation of the different demand curves um, next time we will look at public goods and you'll see in terms of private goods you can exclude somebody from using it if that person is not able to pay the price there's rivalry involved in other words there's competition in terms of the price and in this case price is equal to marginal cost equals marginal cost or marginal utility is equal to marginal cost next time we'll take a look at the characteristics of public goods